Hey guys, I thought I would give you all a quick update about my Uliphone X and about the issue that I've got. I pointed this out in my video test and I pointed it out in my first impressions video the other day. The phone arrived and it is in mint condition. I've got no problems with the phone build, the phone quality and all that. It was packaged well, well, as well as you can expect. No scratches, no dents or anything like that. But there is a problem. In the, the selfie camera, the front camera, the one at the top there, everything looks good. But when you take uh, a photo or when you take a video with this front camera, what you will see is two smudges. And you can maybe even see that, even just in the webcam, you can see there's two smudges there. Uh, now, I highlighted that in my previous videos. I showed you, you know, everyone was pointing out that there were smudges there. And I didn't notice it first because I was recording at night. But there's two major smudges there. And it's not like you can do that and clean it. Uh, the problem is this damage or this smudge or whatever is actually under the glass. So there's nothing you can do. So I contacted Banggood about it. I let them know about it. And in their form, it says, please upload a video showing us what the hell is wrong. So I did that, I uploaded a video, I had a little selfie video of myself like this, and I was like, hey, this is Kevin, I just bought this uh, phone, and the smudges on the camera, the phone's okay, but the damage is underneath the glass, and I explained it, and I was like, look, you can see the smudges here, and I showed it all in the video. They replied the next day saying, please send me a video. And I was like, right, okay. So I sent the video, and then they sent an email last night when I was sleeping, and it said, please send us photos of the damage. I'm like, uh, well, I can't send you photos. So I explained in an email and I replied, I said, listen, I can't send you photos because it, there's no damage. The phone, like, if you look at the phone like that, I can't show you any damage. There's, you can't see that. You'd have to have a super, you know, super zoomed in lens to even, you know, notice anything. Um, so if you look at the phone, if you look at the photo of the front camera, everything seems like it's okay. And I pointed that out to them. Uh, and then they sent an email today. Uh, Thank you for the email and order. We need clear photos to confirm the phone status. Also, please offer clear photos to show the front camera status. If we could not confirm the phone status, we will not offer a solution for you. Sorry for the inconvenience caused and we will keep waiting for your reply. Um, So... Obviously, there's a language barrier. There's always a language barrier when you order anything directly from China. I do I do understand that. I also understand that maybe they have people that mess them around. But this is like day three or four of me trying to get them even... Like, I've asked many times, listen, what's the what's the returns procedure? And they won't, and they just they just admit it. They don't reply to that. They just forget I even asked it. Uh, I said, what's the next steps? They don't reply. They say, listen, you need to send photos. So... You know, I'm not going to go through this every day. My time is limited. I just raised a PayPal dispute and I, and I explained to PayPal what happened and I sent them a link to the video so they can uh, prove what's happening. Um, you know, it's one of those things. I mean, ideally, I would have wanted to work out some solution where maybe I get a partial refund or maybe I return it to a local distributor. Or I don't know what happens, but um, I've ordered from Banggood before. I ordered a laptop stand from them like last year. Um, but this is the first time I've ordered a phone and, you know, th this was always a concern for people that order from China uh, about the risk of any problems with it. And it's a, it's a reminder why you have to use PayPal when you order from a service like this because they're not saying that they're not going to help me, but they're making it very, very difficult for me to actually move forward in any sense or form. And they're saying, upload a video. I'm uploading a video. Then they say, upload a video. There's the video. Shows the damage. Well, it's in the video. No shows photos. Well, I can't show photos. Well, we offer no solution for you. Um, so I'll see what happens, guys. At the end of the day, it's a cheap phone and all that, but I'm not going to go back and forward with this company every single day of the week. Banggood, if you look at prices of phones, tend to be one of the cheapest solutions. But I'm not saying that they're the only Chinese company selling phones that offer bad support. Uh, I had the same experience with AliExpress. It's the same all the time, guys. It's the same. Um, a little bit annoying, but there you go. So I'll let you guys know what happens with that in another video. But I will do a video about this in a few days' time. And I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what I think about the phone. And I'll just kind of forget about the, the smudge marks for a while. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the feedback on the phone uh, with the sample videos and all that. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for commenting. And I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.